All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, Pook, with my September 2016 update video, part two. So yeah, I'm just making this video as quick as I can so it's not gonna be as edited and polished as I'd like it to be because I gotta go to work here in a little bit. So I'm just putting this up here so that way you guys know what's gonna be going on for the next couple weeks. So, as I announced earlier this week, I'm going to be doing a Roger Swan remastering of all of his episodes of Tokyo Swan and Iwate Swan. So uh, if you want more details for the project, uh, links will be down below in the description. Uh, the first episode drops this coming Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and that's kind of going to be the schedule for them. Um, we're going to stagger the updates. So this week we're going to have two episodes out. So one on Wednesday at 2 p.m., and then one on Thursday at 2 p.m. And then next week it'll be Wednesday at 2 p.m., and then the following week will be Wednesday and Thursday at 2 p.m., respectively. And in addition to that, um, <laughs> looking at the re-upload schedule, um, I've noticed that that was the time where I went to the Patrick Stump solo concert back in 2011. So in the interest of not making it, like, the next two weeks, like, all Patrick Stump stuff, because I know some people don't really care for his uh, stuff, I've decided to kind of uh, <laughs> basically double my re-upload output. So I'm going to be releasing the, uh, the Patrick Stump uh, concert by song uh, every day at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then the normal re-uploads will be like vlogs and updates and all that kind of stuff. That's going to stay the same time at 10, p or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, rather. So you're going to get a little bit of extra Andy sand there. And like I said, we're also going to do the Roger Swan thing on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Well, every other Thursday, rather. But every Wednesday, at least. Today is a very special day because in addition to a new Solemn Monster Sounds Off podcast, which is my all-time favorite wrestling podcast, and the one thing I look forward to the most every Sunday, just a little, little small plug for a favorite podcast of mine, so in addition to that, today, September 25th, 2016, is my, oh Jesus, sorry for the table lighting, is my one year anniversary of getting out of the Navy. So um, I wanted to do a proper uh, sit down video where I talk more about it and we'll make like a life after Navy episode about it, but I guess I'll just kind of keep it brief here. I'll be honest, I thought the transition from, you know, military back to civilian life was gonna be pretty easy because I'll be honest, uh, a lot of my friends on Facebook had gotten out before I did, and they made it look like super easy. It was just another day to them. It was just, all right, you know, we're getting out of the Navy, and then we're going back home, and then we're going to college, and it, it just seemed so seamless. So when I finally got out, um, I was very surprised to see just how hard it was. I mean, you know, when I first got out, it was pretty easy. It was just, you know, relax and watch YouTube videos all day because I didn't have to be anywhere. And, you know, I was trying to save my money, so it was probably best that I did stay home most of the time during those uh, first three months that I got out. And then when I finally arrived here in uh, Portage, Kalamazoo, Michigan, to start my journey back to college for the first time in nearly a decade, um, I encountered a lot of just different problems you know most of it was financial because you know I didn't have a job at the time I didn't get one until near the end of spring semester last year or this year rather <laughs> and uh, it was very difficult for me because you know I only had so much left in savings and the GI Bill only covered so much and you know also on top of financial problems I also was just getting used to civilian life American life college student life. There was a lot of major life changes that happened to me all at once and it just kind of, you know, it was a little too much for me to handle at first. So that's why the first two semesters were a little shaky, you know. The second one went a little better. The second little, you know, summer one semester, I guess. So it was like a half semester really. Uh, went a little better, but still, you know, got academically dismissed and decided to shift my focus from, you know, the IT department or the IT uh, industry rather, I guess, I don't know, <laughs> over to uh, film, video, and media studies, which is something that I'm very passionate about and something that, 
you know, I look forward to learning more about and hopefully making making my upcoming vlogs more entertaining for you guys because I know I got a lot of good comments for my Roger Swan project announcement video because I used B-roll from some of the remastered episodes. So a lot of people liked that. So I figured maybe I can incorporate more B-roll as much as it pains me because I was never I was never really good at B-roll. That's why I didn't use it all that often. But I didn't really know where to put it. I thought it made it look a little hokey whenever I did try to do it. But, you know, I guess I gotta bite the bullet and, you know, at least get better at it, right? So, yeah, I guess in essence, with the whole, you know, getting out of the Navy one year later, um, it was very difficult for me to readjust. Um, it's not as easy as it may seem you know, for your Facebook friends who just recently got out and everything's all, you know, all sunshine and rainbows and all that kind of stuff. So uh, just keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting out. I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm just saying it's a lot harder than you might think. I gotta get going to work here soon, so I gotta sign off. So with that said, this is the Andy Son. Signing off for now, thanking you guys boop, for tuning into this short little update video and for watching my other stuff. Also, I want to thank you guys for liking, little thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.